Did you know that rosé gets its color from the skins of the grapes that are used to make rosé? So depending upon the grape variety, you might have a lighter or darker rosé color. So, if you have been a subscriber to the Wine Club for the past couple of months, you'll be familiar with Le Fay Papillon. This is coming from uh, two winemakers, Marjorie and Stéphane Gallet. They are located, you see here on the label as well, Côtes de Catalan. Not Côtes Catalan, excuse me, Côtes Catalan. Sorry, excuse my English bastardization of French. Côtes Catalan. Côtes Catalan is a winemaking appellation that is just north of Spain on the east side of France, so Mediterranean facing. This is a side project of theirs, making super approachable, easy drinking wines, really meant to be enjoyed in their youth uh, immediately upon release. This is rosé of Grenache, 100% Grenache. Now, most of us think of rosé in that, you know, French rosé is from Provence. And while the marketing teams in Provence have done a phenomenal job of perpetuating that idea, every appellation in France, winemaking appellation in France, makes rosé. Rosé is just simply making a red wine, but rather than leaving the skins in contact with the juice, which then bleeds that pigmentation, so red wine figure, uh, two weeks. They might leave the, the skins in contact with the juice for two weeks, so we get that deep color. Rosé, on the other hand, is going to be somewhere between 12 to 24 hours, roughly speaking. So it's just that kiss of pigmentation, and it yields wines that are very light and refreshing. It's a unique bottling in that it only has Grenache. Personally, I think Grenache produces one of my favorite styles of rosé, the kind of jazz hands of, of rosé, very light, fruit forward, so on the nose, you get all of that candied fruit, candied strawberry, raspberry. And when I say candied, I'm not talking sweet, but it's that, that aromatic sweetness that that you get. However, this is bone dry. For those of you that are freaked out about rosés art being sweet, that was something that happened a couple decades ago. Rosé, almost always is, is fermented to the point of dryness, like a dry white wine, like a Sauvignon Blanc, dry like that. So you get those candied notes, oh, then you get red flower, pink flower coming through, a little bit of a, an herbaceous quality to it. And, and what you're gonna start to notice at this moment is it, wow, this is actually pretty complex for rosé. We tend to drink rosé with our eyes. Ooh, look at the pretty color, right? <laughs> Which has nothing to do with the quality of the wine itself. So pretty complex on the nose. Um, let's taste it. This is springtime in a glass. Very light, uh, great acidity. That's almost briny, salty minerality coming through. I'm still salivating. I want charcuterie. I want a, a salad. I, the, I, I need to be by a pool right now. The, this, is what, this is, again, quintessential French rosé, 100% Grenache, super light, delicious, easy drinking. I don't even know why I have the glass. I mean, this is, uh, oh my God. I hope you enjoy the jazz hands of rosé. Cheers. <laughs>